So let's start with what a cell is. A cell, if you remember we talked about, is the smallest unit of life. It carries out all of life processes. So everything that is living, remember, is either made up of one or more cells. That was one of our characteristics of life that we discussed at the beginning of the year. Go ahead and pause the video and try to think about what the other characteristics of life that are that we talked about. Do you think these apply to a cell? Okay, so hopefully you came up with use energy, respond to the environment, reproduce, contain DNA, grow and develop, and of course, it's made of cells. Okay, so if we look and we'll see in this chapter, a cell actually does do all of those things, which makes it the smallest living thing. Okay, so the history of cells is pretty interesting. What made it all possible was actually the discovery of the microscope, or the invention of the microscope. And this was a very new and fancy technology of the time. And all of these men listed down here helped with the discovery of the cell. So the big thing that made it possible was in the 1600s with Anton von Leeuwenhoek, who first discovered cells and described them using a very simple microscope that looked like this. Not what you're used to seeing in our classrooms, but this is what he came up with and it was actually highly effective. It just had this small little hole that he looked through and was able to see things up close.